Welcome back, JC here. In the last video I showed you how to download the BL Heli Suite. Now I will show you how to connect to it. As always, look in the description below for the BL Heli Suite playlist for other future videos. So uh, I've created a desktop icon. We're going to click that. Now the first thing you want to do is take your USB cable and plug it into your flight controller. Okay, the next thing we want to do is set it up to be able to read the ESCs through the flight controller. So come to select uh, atmel slash silabs interface and you can click either this one or this one. Either one, it's not going to matter. And I know it says clean flight, but even if you were using beta flight, it's still going to work. Uh, now the reason I could say you can click either one of these is you need a specific one depending on which bootloader you have. Uh, but it's not going to matter because even if you have the wrong one, it's going to automatically detect that you have the wrong one and it will tell you and then it's going to ask you, uh, do you want to switch to this and then you just click yes. So I'm just going to click one of these. I don't know which one it is, but we'll figure it out. Next, you need to choose the COM port that your flight controller is on. When you click on the drop down box, it should automatically find which COM port. Chances are it's not COM1, it's going to be a different number. So for me, it's COM19, but for you, it could be some other random number. Uh, it's not going to matter, just click whatever that random number is. For the baud rate, we can leave this at 115,200. And next, we want to click Connect. Now, uh, the next thing you want to do is take your battery and plug it into your multi-rotor. Then you can click Read Setup and it says found multiple ESC configuration in SI labs mode uh, blah 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 so I'm just going to click OK and then it actually comes up with it finds a firmware that is on your ESC's uh, that's something else I should mention uh, for example I am using the ReadyMate RC 20 amp uh, opto ESC's on this specific build but they use the DYS SN20A firmware. So just because it's saying that, uh, that doesn't mean that it, f it thinks you're using the wrong ESC or something like that. Just know that chances are your ESCs probably use or borrow a firmware from some other ESC. Then uh, Rev is going to be the version of firmware that is currently on it. Multi is going to stand for multi-rotor. If you don't see multi, uh, then you probably want to change your firmware to the multi-rotor firmware uh, and I will actually show you how to do that in the next video and then you probably don't see anything here but this is uh, I have already named my ESC's which you can do right here and I'll show you how to do that in the next video as well then you can click OK it's gonna say ESC number one set up read successfully it's not going to say that for the three others but that's okay and you should see four ESCs right here if you have a quadcopter. Um, now the different colors mean different things. Uh, I will probably talk more about that in the next video. Now if you cannot connect, then I have to point this out, and this is very important. The steps that I did everything, you have to do it in that order. And what I mean by that is I plugged in the USB first, and then I clicked connect, and then I plugged in the battery, and then I clicked re read setup. You have to do it in that order. You can't plug in the USB and your LiPo and then click connect and read setup. It's not going to work. Or any other uh, order you choose. Uh, it has to be in that order. So that's going to do it for this video guys. Uh, like I said, check out the link for the upcoming videos and I will see you there.